Hey, okay, so uh, real quick, I wanted to show off my um, adventure game graphical interface that I made, for lack of a better term. Uh, this game is based on D&D &D and how it kind of feels to play D&D, &D, and I've been trying to figure out how, you can, how I can sort of reflect that in the gameplay. So I came up with the sort of pseudo-adventure game style interface. Uh, so I originally was trying this... I'm going to turn that down. Uh, this select item event command, um, which is like, it's fine. It's just not really what I was looking for. Um, so I ended up landing on using uh, SRD's picture choices, um, which I've utilized like this. And this is just sort of a prototype. So I don't think this is how it's gonna look in the end. I think I'm gonna put text on these icons. Um, so they're a little clearer what they do. So there's, you have a uh, look, you have interact or touch, you have use an item, and you have use a skill, and then you can exit. Um, so, so this is an example of how this works. Uh, there's a DM narrating that it's a sheep. It looks like a sheep. I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, you can interact, and uh, Magnus wants to pet the sheep, and he makes friends with the sheep. Um, and then I have a select item here, and I've got, you can select items that don't really work, and then ones that do. You feed the sheep to the potion to the sheep, and now he doesn't feel good. And then finally, I'm using Yanfly's map select skill, so that you can use um, various actors' skills on the events. So like, if you want to heal the sheep, he doesn't want to heal the sheep, but you can try to set fire to the sheep, and... <laughs> so <laughs> so that's it um i don't know i just thought it was cool and i wanted to show it off so uh thanks for watching